Empty gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! By the nine hells! Open the gates! <coughs> the blade and suffer its sting. You be hiding. By sickle and sword. Oh!
on my way. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! They were tenacious. I wonder what they wanted here, other than bloodshed. I just wonder if the grubby little beasts had any friends, and if they're near by.
Answer in here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! We lost him back at the ruins. Whole place is crawling with gobbos. He trusted you. Nobody forced him to go with us. He insisted. And when things got tough, he couldn't keep up. Simple as that. My God, you're a coward. The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could be on their way. I'm more worried about this parasite than a few goblins. We need a healer. You were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but she kept gasping, clawing at the arrow. I had the same thought, and it's just going to keep happening. What's next? No. Get up, Cannon! He's not breathing! Go find a healer! It's too late. He's gone. Someone's going to pay for this. Arka, no, wait! What are you doing? Oh, bloody Arden's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halson. Yeah, when he ran off with the druid that saved our hides the first time. Without Halson, this grove's not so friendly, I'll tell you that. Christ is after another. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs.
Maybe, but we're not fighters. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. If the road was clear, a ten days walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. We are refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after Knowles attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. The High Overseer, our Grand Protector, signed a pact with devils. It dragged Elturel straight to hell. Lucky for us, a group of adventurers found a way to bring the city back. Afterwards, people looked at us and just saw Devilkin. No different from the druids here, really. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Really? We're messengers now? We owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Need new pockets to pick. And 
behind. You're going to get us oh, killed. The waiting's getting to me. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hey, hold on, you gotta pay for that. Fine, keep it. Call it a sample, yeah? But you gotta at least look at the other rings, okay? I gotta eat. Really? I, I mean, good. That's what I got. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. <laughs> I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. fit in there. The trader has no interest in selling that particular item, though you are welcome to purchase something else. Last room! Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Come, 
Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back! No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Ah, oh, I do wish I could understand you. the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. My, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. Shocking little creatures, aren't they? Still, there's quite a bit more to them than most accounts allow. I myself plan to record the world's most extensive catalogue of their means and habits. A blue ocean of information, I dare say. Now, I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Confidence, if you insist. 
Speak. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees and we will be safe. A druid and an outsider. We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. I would prefer not to. But if Master Helsin does not return, Korga will give the order, and my voice will not matter. Jene Kulamo in Umbra tua parte arborum. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it.
No. The tiefling remains until the rite is complete. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Very well. Sifisif, Tila, to me! Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin w Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. <laughs> 